Good afternoon. Good morning. <laughs> My name is Ronnie. Um, I'm going to teach you how to get focused in the camera, okay? I'm going to teach you some very important pronunciation. <laughs> pronunciation. Pronunciation. And the point of me teaching you this is magic. How to sound more natural when you speak English. So, you understand, you know that pronunciation in English, I think, is the most difficult because it's just crazy, isn't it? You see a word written, but the way that it's actually said is completely different. We have silent letters, we have letters that make a whole new word, a whole new sound. So, let me teach you something that will help you. And it's all about one of my favorite things in the world, food. Who likes food? I like food. Um, food is essential for living, so this lesson is essential for you. I hope you're not hungry. Maybe you will be after this. So, our first word is bacon. What? Bacon? Not bacon? No. Check this out. Bacon. 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 What is going on, Ronnie? What's going on is that all of these words I've written on the board actually end in I-O-N or O-N, but we pronounce them, <laughs> pronounce them like I-N. So we don't say bacon. In this your French Canadian? <sighs> we say bacon. So if I was to write this phonetically, which means how it sounds, I would write bacon. Bacon is delicious. It's got a lot of fat, a lot of calories. That's what makes it so tasty. It comes from a pig and it's the tummy of the pig. Pig tummy. Delicious bacon. 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 So next one. This is a crazy one as well because we have a silent L and as our lesson will follow, we don't say mon, we say min. So this word, it's a fish and the inside of the fish is orange or pink, is called not salmon, it's actually called sa min. So it looks like salmon, but it's salmon. So, so far we have bacon and salmon. Next, it's a vegetable. Uh, it smells bad. It makes you cry if you cut it. And this is not onion. <laughs> it's actually un yin. So you want to say on yawn, <laughs> but we're like, no, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to say onion. Oh, that's just crazy. Bear with, okay? It gets more fun. <laughs> the next one is lemon, not lemon, lemon. Um, this is actually a little more easier. Now, the other thing that you guys have to be aware of is lemon is yellow. And it's big, okay? In a lot of your countries, you say limon. And limon, in actually English, we call lime. <gasps> Uh-oh. So, a lemon is big and yellow. And a lime, which is actually the spelling is pretty cool, is actually small and green. So, in your language, maybe you mix those up. But never fear. Lemons are yellow. Limes are green. Um, another delicious fruit is a melon. Not melon, melon. And in the world, we have many different kinds of melon. We have watermelon. It has nothing to do with water. And we have musk melon, dew many. Dew melon, honey dew melon, queen melon, king melon. So many melons. We're not going to get into them. But the pronunciation is melon, not melon. Um, another thing that we have that you probably maybe have never seen this world before, it's called mutton. Hmm. Mitten? Uh, mit, mit, uh, don't eat the mittens. Mutton. Mustin is basically a sheep. So maybe you have heard of the word lamb. 
Well, Ronnie, you forgot the B, Lamba. Oh, it's not Lamba, it's Lamb. So basically, Lamb and Mutton are the same thing. They're both sheep. The difference is... A sheep, Lamb is a baby sheep. And a Mutton is an older sheep, a teenager. <laughs> so you're eating the teenager or you're eating the baby. Do you eat babies? Do you eat baby sh lamb? Do you eat baby sh sheep? Cool. Do you eat lion? Not lion. It should be. Look at lion. Oh no, in English. No. <laughs> no. I'm sorry. We say lie. In. Lion. Have you ever eaten lion? Me neither. Um, I would. I think they're beautiful, but I would eat them. Damn, I would eat anything, really. <clears throat> maybe anything. Um, the next one, maybe you guys are confused about why I have lion written on the board. It was a joke. <laughs> but the next one is not a joke at all. And this word, it looks like pigion. And you say, Rani, is that a pig? <laughs> and I said, no, a pigeon is a bird, okay? A lot of people don't like pigeons. They think that they're dirty. Well, all birds are dirty, all animals are dirty. Do you know that you're an animal and you're dirty? <laughs> Take a shower, okay, before, after you, <laughs> this isn't so. A pigeon is a kind of bird, and actually I have eaten pigeon. Tastes like chicken. It's delicious. But let's go back to the hate for the pigeon for a second. Um, the pronunciation is pid, it'd be like pigeon, like the drink. And what color are pigeons for you? Gray. Oh yes, you're right, they're gray. Or black. Well, maybe they're black. White. Sorry, a white pigeon? What? A what? Do you like doves? Oh, doves are so beautiful. They're the bird of peace. And the soap. Not dirty birds at all. Well, guess what, people? Pigeon and dove are exactly the same. <gasps> Earth-shattering news. Pigeon and dove are the same bird. The only difference is one is gray, one is white. Don't be racist against your delicious food. Pigeon. Next one is a drink. Bourbon is a kind of whiskey. It's from America. You guys might know Jack Daniels. Or we say in slang, JD. I like a JD and Coke, please. Bourbon is a kind of whiskey, and we don't say bourbon, we say bourbon. <clears throat> One of my favorite things in the world is a spice, and it's called cinnamon. Not cinnamon, cinnamon. Um, cinnamon is a really, really common spice in cooking all over the world. It has a very wonderful heat to it. It's not spicy, it's just very warm. And it is um, brown. It comes from a tree. Oh, it's the bark of a tree. So we don't say cinnamon, we say cinnamon. And I have spelled bourbon wrong. It's actually B-O-U-R-B-O-N. <laughs> but the pronunciation again would be bur bin So <laughs> I wrote how I think it should be spelt, right? Bad teacher, Ronnie. You gotta write things properly. Spelling. So, the pronounce the spelling of this word, this alcoholic drink, is called bur <laughs> bourbon. <laughs> but this is the pronunciation bourbon. Okay. So it's bourbon, but it's bourbon is the pronunciation. Um, are these any new words for you? Are these words that you've never seen before? If they are new words and you're not too sure, go and find a dictionary or go in your cupboard, go to the supermarket and try and find these. Some of them are very delicious. Like dove. Oh, a dove's delicious. When it's on your plate, you don't know if it's a dove or a pigeon. You were like, was this a white one or a gray one? It doesn't matter. Um, <clears throat> along with food, I'm going to teach you some words that have to do with actually eating. So, the first one, maybe you wear every day, maybe you don't. <laughs> um, maybe your grandmother wears one, maybe your grandfather wears it. 
But this is called an apron, not an apron, an apron. So an apron is basically um, some kind of material that covers your clothes when you're cooking. So probably you spill stuff on your clothes. So what you're going to do is you're going, <laughs> you're going to wear an apron to make sure your clothes stay clean when you're cooking. Apron changes to a prin. Okay, the next word we have, uh-oh, I'm kind of guilty of this one. It's one of the seven deadly sins, and it's called glutton or gluttony. Glutton means you eat everything all the time. So, for example, ooh, yesterday I went to a very big store and I bought a large amount of blueberries. I love blueberries. And I think that I ate maybe half of the massive container of blueberries. So I was a glutton. A glutton means you're greedy and you eat, 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 eat until you explode. Now, obviously I didn't explode, but it made my eyes turn blue because I ate blueberries. So glutton actually sounds like this not glutton. So glutton means you eat too much. Maybe you eat too much chocolate or potato chips or what's, what's one food that you eat too much of? Tell me, let me know. Um, you will see this word a lot in restaurants. If you travel to English speaking companies, it's it, countries. <laughs> It's a word that they like to use to make you understand that their food is just not from one country. And this word is fusion. So you look like it says fusion. Oh, I'm going to have some Asian fusion food, but it's actually fusion. Fusion. So it's like, it sounds like fusion. Fusion means a mix of foods together. So you might have like African fusion food or uh, Asian fusion food. So it means that it's from different parts of Asia. So Thai food mixed with Indian food. Oh, that would be delicious. But Thai food mixed with Chinese food would be fusion. Um, and actually this would be fusion. This next word, hmm, do you know this word? It's very strange. This word, you probably know the word lunch. Lunch is what we usually eat about 12 o'clock or a mid-afternoon meal. But a luncheon, hmm, yeah, look it. So it sounds like lunch in, not luncheon. <laughs> a luncheon is basically a lunch party. <gasps> Woo! So... It's basically you invite a lot of friends, you have a lot of food, maybe you drink a little. It's lunchtime. So a luncheon is basically a big lunch party. Sounds like fun. Um, next word is something that I have, um, and it's called passion. So it actually sounds like this. If I was going to spell it, I'd spell it like this. I'd spell it passion. Passion means you have a strong love or strong feeling for something. So I can say I have a passion for food. Blueberries. <laughs> I have a passion for teaching you English. I love it. Um, you can have a passion for anything. Whatever you love to do, it's your passion. What's your passion? Um, but be careful. It's not passion <laughs> passion this is a really important word as well when we're talking about food this word is nutrition hmm <laughs> so it sounds like this new trish in hmm new nutrition new nutrition <laughs> no <laughs> it's nutrition so nutrition basically means the diet that you are eating. Now, diet doesn't mean the restriction of food, like, oh, I'm on a diet, I can only eat 100 blueberries. 
nutrition diet means the food that you actually eat. So in your country, every country would have a different diet. Example, when I was growing up, my diet was every day meat and potatoes and vegetables. The next day, oh, guess what I could have? I could have potatoes and then meat and vegetables. Thanks, Grandma, for making me so many potatoes. I love it. I'd like some rice every once in a while, though. So your nutrition is based upon your diet. The nutrition means the vitamins and minerals you get from your diet. Is your diet healthy? If your diet is healthy, you would have a high nutrition. If your diet is not good, you would have a very low nutrition. So if you eat junk food or fried food, the delicious stuff, probably you have a very bad or low nutrition. Uh-oh. Do you guys know this word? Addiction. Mm-hmm. Oh, I almost fell. <laughs> so some people, this is a noun, some people have an addiction to food. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we don't say addiction, we say addiction. So actually, this sounds like shin at the end, which is even crazier. An addiction means something you cannot stop doing. But then you think, R R Ronnie, that's ridiculous. Of course I can't stop eating. I have to eat to live. But there's a problem with it. If you're addicted to something, it means you can't stop doing it to the point where it is unhealthy. Of course you need to eat, but if you eat too much, or you eat really, really bad food, or you have to eat chocolate every day, you might have an addiction to chocolate. People can be addicted to alcohol, people can be addicted to um, drugs, um, anything that you do that is actually unhealthy. A little bit, no problem. Next word is digestion. Digestion means the process of eating and then going through all the wonderful places of your body and then coming up at the end, okay? So digestion is the system of eating and the food leaving your body, not to get technical. So this word, it looks like digestion, but it's digestion. Digestion. Oh, there's a chin at the end, woohoo! So this is digestion your digestive system. And maybe you're not good at cooking. So you're gonna take a cooking, not lesson, <laughs> you're gonna take a cooking lesson. So a cooking lesson will teach you how to cook. If you wanna give me a cooking lesson, I'm up for that. But please don't teach me how to cook potatoes or anything boiled, because I've been doing that for years. Um, and the last word is region. Hmm. So it looks like region. It's actually region. So region, the pronunciation would be like region, is basically the area. So in your country, I guarantee each region or each area of your country will have different foods. For example, if you go north, maybe it's spicy, or if you go south, maybe it's not as spicy. I don't know, but I'd like to know. I'll come to your house, feed me some food. It'll be great. So depending what region you live in, depending on what food is available, will depend on what your diet is. So what I'm going to do, because pronunciation is so important, I'm going to go through these words a little bit faster, and you can repeat so that your pronunciation is perfect and sounds very natural. So, let's go. Delicious. Bacon, salmon, onion, lemon, melon, mutton, lion, pigeon, bourbon, cinnamon, apron, glutton, fusion, Luncheon, passion, da, 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 da. nutrition, addiction, digestion, sorry that sounded weird, digestion, 
Not digestion. Don't say it like that. <laughs> digestion, cooking lesson, and region. So, if you want to teach me how to cook any food from your countries, I am more than open to get recipes. And maybe I'll share some with you. Do you guys like boiled meat? <laughs> I'll share some Scottish recipes. As an ending, um, my family, uh, my grandmother was born and my grandfather was born uh, in Scotland. Have you, <laughs> have you ever been to a Scottish restaurant? So maybe you're traveling, not in Scotland or anywhere in the world and you've got, especially in, in, uh, in Toronto, um, you've got like, Mexican food, you've got Persian food, Lebanese food, Italian food, Mexican food, food from all over the world. And I think, damn, why is there no Scottish food? Do you know why? <laughs> it's terrible. It's not bad, but it's terrible. People just don't pay for it. <laughs> like, I don't want some boiled meat and potatoes. I can make that in my house. Thanks, Grand, for cooking. Bye.